probably thinking, what in the heck is he doing? Well, stick with me for a second. It's time to get something to eat and then go back to work. But as I was washing my bowl out, yeah, I, this hangs up there. Yeah, kind of cool. I'm a bachelor, man. I'm a bachelor. Anyways, uh, it's a bowl. I don't know how many ounces this is. Made in China stoneware. I don't say. A couple of, well, one of these bowls with the chia seeds and everything else that go in there. You'll see it in a minute. It's pretty filling, but I usually get two bowls. Yeah, eight quarts a day, me and Mopo. He's underneath the table right now going, Dad, what are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mopo. So anyways, <clears throat> I hear so many jacked up radios out there. Unbelievable. Yeah, and I gate them at time, from time to time. People, how's it sound? I just want to tell you, it sounds like shit, you know? But I usually don't do that unless it's really bad or you're splattering 10 channels over on me and I'm trying to talk to somebody else. I'm going to try to show you something, though. This, this might make sense. Okay, uh, I could change the shape of this. We could change the size of it. The size would be like watts. Modu you know, the form of modulation. But let's just keep this simple. That's like 50% modulation. So if your equipment's not calibrated correctly or you don't know what you're doing and or what frequency and bandwidth, well, different ones won't be at the right height or amplitude. That's kind of full right there. Yep. Now, depending on like what frequency, how it opens up at the top, that's kind of relevant, but it's not. That's kind of what it's like at higher frequencies, and it splatters real easy. But uh, if you had the ability to keep your uh, modulation at that level, now all frequencies of the human voice at that level are pretty much not impossible, it's doable, but it would sound like mud. Just mumble, a, a box of marble, you know, a mouth of marbles, pretty much like overmodulated splatter. It just wouldn't have the right sound, see. Each frequency and or the curve <clears throat> is gonna have a certain amplitude. The type of, now we're gonna get more technical, but the type of modulation is a high level, low level, how is it manipulated? Is it symmetrical, asymmetrical? There's a lot going on, but let's just keep it basic. The fundamentals here. What's going on? Hold on a second. Pay attention. I really don't want to waste any more water. You know, I, I pay rent here. But yet, the city has to purify it, pump it, use electricity, and it's down the drain. The landlord still has to pay for what goes down the drain. But as you can see, it's all being wasted. It's going down the drain. It's completely and entirely useless. Now, we can say part of this is splatter. And we can say part of this is just overmodulation. What frequencies we don't, let's just call it all of them. Let's call it flat topping and pinching. We're drawing current, okay? But everything going out to the antenna, coming out the back of the radio, well actually it's more than that. It's inside the radio what's going on. It's just all over the place. Going down the drain. I could use a different cup, okay? It's not gonna matter. Once it's full, it's full. You can't put no more in there. Know what I mean? So anyways, while we're at it, <clears throat> I come over here to get something to eat so I get back to work. 
more radios. Figured I'd show you a little bit of that right there. That's a, oh shit, I'm making a mess. That's uh, the trail mix. Three pounds of turkey, some veggies. Some really healthy food. I hope some of this was uh, educational. Because when you have any form of distortion, the slightest amount, some will argue they're absolutely clueless and they call themselves engineers. I'm not sure if it's sanitation or what, or bullshit in engineer. Some call themselves technicians, but the slightest amount means you get out that much less. To uh, radio people that do this in their sleep, like for the last 40 years, this is simple. But to the novice person, this can be overwhelming. You might even seem like mumbo jumbo to some, but it's this simple, really. But it's complicated at the same time. I might show you a little bit more at the bench here in a minute. But you see that right there? I can smell it. It smells pretty damn good, so stay tuned in. Oh yeah, Bachelor. Yeah, that picture, the image picture, that was my kitchen. Even though my other side of my sink's full of shit, it's got stuff in it. That's all I need. Mopo gets bowls of that too. Stay tuned in. What's going on, guys and girls? <clears throat> I think uh, I showed you my kitchen sink first. We're going to show you a little bit more. I showed you this. I don't know how long I've had this. Maybe five years now? Yeah, it probably looks a little bit better now. I looked at it the other day and it was kind of rusty looking and not much for, you know, video material. So I was like, you know, let me bust this thing open. A bunch of crap came out of the screws. I busted it open. It's a little dusty inside, but looks like brand new. Damn good, Mike. All right, now let's see. The next thing, okay. I had to shut my light up up there, so it's kind of hard to see. You got to bear with me because can't see anything like this. We'll zoom in. Alright, here's the radio. It's not finished. The um, audio path, the entire audio path is finished. Max mods in, Max Palomar transistors. I still have more to do. <laughs> it's getting late and I'm getting tired. I got more to do. It's been non-stop working on radios. And I must say thank you for your patience. It seems like they get it takes longer and longer to get each one of these done. They're actually a lot of work. You know, some guys just get in there and turn a couple of screws and call it good. And, oh God, leave them alone. Don't touch them. Convert them and leave them alone. If you don't know what you're doing, you don't have the, the proper equipment. There's nothing you can do. Really. Some of you guys got it. Okay, let's see. Let me show you a couple different things. That's in relation to the water in the bowl. Okay. Yes, that's beautiful. Well, you can see that over there. Cool. Couple cycles off. It's at a one kilohertz bandwidth, and I'm set at the span 0.5k. <laughs> now, what we're gonna do is, I want you to watch the spectrum analyzer close. You're gonna see this is a slight bit different, but I want you to notice how critical this is. I don't want to get the radio smoking hot. It's normal. I've been beating the hell out of this poor radio. But in relation to the bowl, I want you to watch the edges, the outer edges. Once it goes so far into the adjacent channels, everything you see on a meter 
It's a hundred watt plug, by the way. It's a hundred. Is completely wasted. Gone. Down the drain. And when you see how critical this actually is, and no, there's there's nothing that you get inside and turn. It's all components. Like about 15 components total. That time it's all said and done. And then we're gonna hook this back up. Alright. So let's dial this in actually to 1K. Alright. And uh Level set. Not bad, huh? So we're gonna go down. I gotta kinda look back here. Let's zoom in a little bit. I gotta figure out a way I can see this camera. That's 94, 169, and you can see it in there. Yeah, and this is a true analog generator too. It's not junk. You can see the wave is beautiful all the way through, and you can even see the spectrum analyzer too. I figured out how to make the picture bigger. I think I got it zoomed in, yeah, it's zoomed in. See everything? Zoom back up. Now that's the easy part. When you go to higher energy, higher frequencies, I gotta flip back over on this generator anyways to get back to the frequencies I'm looking for, but I'm gonna drop back down to 1K again. As you can see, you can hear it, you can look at it. Now watch the spectrum analyzer. Watch it close. See how close we are and see how far, see how we dropped off. I'm gonna zoom in on the uh, tone generator here in a second. Have you seen that? Now let's back out so you can see everything all at the same time. So you can see the frequency, etc. It's been stated where all the settings were set, you see everything. Echo on. Everything's wide open. Yes, that's the radio. You see, once you get around right there, you will splatter tremendously. Now we're going to... People say, oh, you just drop the power and then you can match to an amp. I got news for you. That doesn't work like that. So now we got to recalibrate here. See how we are into the adjacents badly? Badly into the adjacents? That's at 3K. You've seen it. Now imagine if you put a dirty amp, dirty is a big word, okay? How much power you're losing. You're never gonna get tighter, you're gonna get wider. Wider is not good. All right, it's bad. Now see that again? Good. That brings in calibration. And this is uh, the good stuff. This is it romper room stuff. It's all the good stuff. And that's only 36 or 3.6K. 
Then we can attenuate, therefore 0.5. Now, you have to understand what all the input voltages are. That's what all this is here. Some people, oh, what's he got all that stuff for? Nah, never mind, you should be able to pay attention to see what everything is. A lot of testing is going on here. <clears throat> see now, with different mics, you have to know what is possible, what you can actually do. It's not always the impedance what you see at the mic plug versus the impedance you see at the element. All right, so now let's plug this in. One of these. By the way, this is by far a factory radio, okay? The echo's on. I want to see uh, my striker's up on top right there. That's it right there. 7, 8, 9, 10. Breaker, breaker. 7, 8, 9, 10. There's a scope picking it up. It should be. Let's get on in there. Audio. You see the spectrum analyzer. Now, let's get on in there. Looky here. 7, 8, 9, 10. Breaker, breaker. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Now we're going to turn the echo off. That's off right there. 7, 8, 9, 10. Break in. That's on right there. Breaker, breaker. Let's give this one some volume. It's going to squeal because I'm so darn close, but you can hear the echo. Yep, 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 yep. Audio. Crystal clear and maintaining everything where it needs to maintain. Yes, sir. It's only squealing because I'm so close. All right. Now, I hope uh, this means something. It's like uh, when that bowl overflows, it's down the drain. Okay? Down the drain. Shh. Stay tuned in. Hope you got something out of that. Click, click.